Hello, this is Melena Ray Johnson with For Nerdy Girls with Melena Ray Johnson. And today's topic is I don't know what to say. Melena, that's me, explains how to interact with other human beings and what other people want to know about you. Okay, that was not the best sentence, but that's what it says. So that's what I'm going to do. And the three things we're going to go over today that you're going to say is hello. How did you hear about this group, event, conference? And what are you working on this year? So again, I'm Melana Ray Johnson and it is April 19th, 2018. Who am I? I went to Loyola Marymount University for film school. Then I went to the University of Southern California for business school where I got my MBA in marketing, entertainment, and entrepreneurship. And over the past 10 years, I have done hundreds of informational interviews and video coffee chats with various people around the world. I did one this morning. And I've gone to hundreds of networking events and conferences and I've connected with thousands of people. So I am immensely qualified to help you connect, collaborate, and communicate with other professional creative women. And I'm here to help you go from awkward introvert to confident boss. It's I'm still I'm still both those days. So Whatever. Also, I am a four-time author. My book, Love It a Luau, is my fourth book, and it will be coming out in May ah, on Amazon. All right, so today's topic, again, is I don't know what to say. A lot of people that I've been talking to and researching and looking at what people say about networking say, as I mentioned, that they don't know what to say. They're scared that they're going to say the wrong thing or that they just have no idea how to describe what they do as a person or as their job or as their business or, or just how to describe how they help people. So I'm here to change the conversation. I want you to, instead of thinking about what you need to say to introduce yourself to someone, Instead of thinking about what you need to say to introduce yourself to someone, figure out how you're going to learn more about that other person. That's what our goal is today. We're not going to talk about your 30 minutes, not 30 minutes, 30 seconds, 30 second elevator pitch. That's a lot of what we were taught about in business school. You have to have your 30 second elevator pitch in case you're literally going in an elevator with somebody and you have to tell them about who you are in 30 seconds to grab their attention and make them want to know more about you. What I have found that works so much better for building a relationship with another person is not telling them who you are, which, which is great. That's fine. Ha know that about yourself so that you can say it. But people mostly want to talk about themselves. And they mostly want someone to not only do they want to talk about themselves, they want someone to be interested in who they are and what they like and what they do. So your goal in networking event right now, the thing that I want you to work on for your next ne networking event is to learn something about somebody else and forget about who you are for a moment. Because when you ask someone about who they are and you show a genuine interest, they will like you more. And whatever you say, whatever comes out of your mouth about who you are, it's not, I'm a Nazi, don't say that. But as long as you don't say that, they'll be like, oh, well, tell me more about that. Or, you know, maybe if you do say that, then they'll be like, tell me more about that. So, okay, first, hello. This is a simple thing that you can say to people. You can just say hello. It's not that hard. You can say you can say it in a different language, like hola or bon dia. You could say how are you doing, or you can go up to them and mention something that you like about their outfit. What an amazing pin! Or I love how you've matched that tie to your shirt. Or those shoes. Where did you get them? Just something so that you are in their presence. You don't have to worry about what I do and who I serve and, and how do I help people that I serve and, and what the problem is that I solve. Don't worry about that. Just focus on the person in front of you and say hello. <laughs> don't be creepy about it. All right, two, how did you hear about this group event or conference? So this is a great way to go past the first hello 
and not only have something to say, how did you learn about this? But their answer is going to tell you how they learned about it. You're not just going to be like, you, you can't, you don't have to assume that everyone found out about the group or event or conference the same way you did. For instance, they may have gotten an email about the conference, so you know that they read their emails. You, you may find out that you're in the same group and you could talk about that. Yeah, I go to that book club too. Oh, wow. Or maybe they saw a billboard for the conference and said, that's my industry. I need to make sure I'm on top of that. Whatever their answer is gives you more insight into that person. And hopefully they will say, well, how did you learn about this? And then you'll tell them how you learned about the conference. Maybe you have a mutual friend that told you both about the conference. All right. Three, what are you working on this year? So this is a great way to learn more about what they do without asking, what do you do? Because people ask that all the time, and it's not <laughs> that uh, clever. And it's often the second thing people ask is like, hey, what's your name? What do you do? And sometimes it's on the, the name tag, so it's pretty obvious. But what do you do is a question that, that, I, <laughs> that I didn't realize had so much uh, tension builds around it. I will give you an example. When I was, I don't, I don't exactly remember. I know that it was during college. I asked someone who I had just met what their parents did. The reason I asked this is that I grew up in St. Thomas in a small community. And I went from one school where I was there from kindergarten to sixth grade and the next school I was there from seventh grade to 12th grade. And some of those people I went to school with the entire time I was there. So I knew about all my classmates' parents <laughs> and what they did. I, know, I knew their names. I knew what they did. I knew where everybody lived because it's a small island. So coming to Los Angeles, I didn't have that same sort of small community, so I wanted to know more about people's families because I had grown up knowing everything about everyone else's family that I interacted with. It wasn't that hard because everybody lived on the same small island. So when I asked someone what their parents did, it wasn't to see if they, if they were like, um, if they had been on the board of a Fortune 500 company. I just wanted to know if they were a pilot, or maybe they were a teacher, or maybe they were a gardener, or or maybe they uh, managed a grocery store. Whatever it was, I'd just be like, "Oh, that's interesting. Tell me more about that." But the person was really like, oh my gosh, how dare you ask me what my parents do? And I was like, all right, I'll try something else. So I don't want you to get into that same, that same uh, instance. I mean, if you're a networking event, people are expecting you to ask them what they do. But instead of going right for that obvious question, I want you to ask them what they're working on this year. Because what they're working on this year may be something outside of their job. They may be working. <laughs> be working on their new boat okay <laughs> they may be searching for a new house they may be planting something in their small garden they may be working on a big case whatever it is that's something that is top of their mind and that other people probably won't ask because a lot of people get caught up in the title and the company and not the actual work so when you ask someone what they're working on this year, they have the freedom to tell you what they're working on, whether, whether it's it with their own company or something else. So three things. Hello, how did you hear about this group event or conference? And what are you working on this year? These are easy things to say that have nothing to do with you, but will get information out of the other person so that whatever you say back to them they're going to appreciate more than if you started with your perfect 30 second elevator pitch. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the comments if you're on Facebook. If you're watching this someplace else, please email me at fornerdygirls at gmail.com. And if you feel like, oh my gosh, I wanna get more of Belena, I gotta talk to her more about my networking strategy, I have networking strategy sessions available for you, but you need to know what it is you want to work on and then 
email me at fornerdygirls at gmail.com. There's also a video available that explains what exactly happens in this 30 minute networking strategy session. It's very simple, three outcomes. Um, the biggest thing is that you talk, I listen, and we create a plan together and we figure out what we're gonna do next after that strategy session and you will have takeaways to immediately work on. Finally, I want you to tell a friend. So if you have a friend who is a career changer or wants to take their established business to the next level and they know the only way that they can grow in their career or business is to network, but they feel like awkward introverts, tell them about me because I am an awkward introvert who can also take you to confident boss level. And email me at fornerdygirls at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.